I feel like this area is a bit uh, saggy, that my eyes always look tired, so I feel like it needs to be, I don't know, maybe a bit lifted to, uh, to give a fresher look. I'm just detecting with my third eye which area is the best to put my product. I am naming the ultrasound the third eye. I am looking under the skin because actually I can see everything. I can do like the proper planning, the proper scanning, the proper injection, and then I'm 100% sure I placed my material in the exact place I wanna to inject. Dermal fillers and Botox is a multi-billion dollar global market and it's expanding exponentially every year. Here in Cairo, Dr. Hassan, whom I'm about to talk to, has been working in cosmetic and aesthetic medicine for 18 years and he's evolved his practice over the last couple of years by using ultrasound as safety becomes more paramount. I'm meeting Dr. Hassan in his new clinic and uh, this looks like him. Dr. Sam. Hi, Mikey. Hey. How are you? Good to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. This is the new clinic. Yeah, come to Shazir. I love dermatology. I love skin diseases. And I was hoping to continue the legacy of my father. And the second part, I love analysis of the faces. You have to make people look their best on the screen, in their natural life, and to look natural as well. I think you have some volume loss in mm -hmm. this area, which is called the temple. And so we will fill this area now with some fillers. The two main players in the aesthetic industry would be the like the hyaluronic acid fillers and the toxin, which is very well known like the Botox injection. And the difference between both of them that the fillers it just fill the lines, if I may say, and the Botox works on the dynamic lines, so it causes relaxation of the muscle. The next step would be like putting our marks, giving you like small anesthesia for the entry point i'm just using my material in okay. and then we will proceed with the injection now we have finished your left side if you compared it with the untreated area it's still hollow mm. you can find a lot of support regarding your eyebrow it's much open and the contours of the half face is much more homogeneous mm. than the contours on the left side to increase the safety, especially nowadays, the most recent thing I'm using is a handheld ultrasound, which gives you an analysis and the interpretation of the tissues you are not seeing under the skin, where you are injecting actually your material. It's a very precise tool that makes your injection go very precisely in the target place, away from any dangerous zones. Hi, Hi, Dr. How are you? How are you? Yes, thank you. In August, I added some filler here. I think it uh, has been removed to under my eyes. I feel the filler under my eyes, not here. We have the ultrasound examination now, and it tells us that the filler is above the muscle, just under the skin. So it's a superficial filler, and it needs to be removed and diluted. So ultrasound can help you in detection of the blood vessel, so just inject away from it. And now you localize where the problem is. You will feel a very small sting, a very small pinch. After injecting, I put my ultrasound to see where exactly is my product. Now we finished. Regarding your next 48 hours, you might feel some, a bit of a swelling just under the eyes. Back then, without the handheld ultrasound, I was like doing everything to be safe. Asking about how it's going, if there's some pain, how is the swelling, do you feel okay? But with ultrasound, just with finishing my procedure, I am mostly sure that everything is okay because I scanned before the injection. I know exactly where is the dangerous zones. I placed my material where I think they are safe and it gives me like confidence and vision of what I'm exactly doing and what is the future even of this product inside the face I'm injecting. <laughs> <laughs> she's smiling just after this injection, so I don't think she's feeling any pain. <laughs> I'm trying to be the women's of Cairo beauty saver, yeah. <laughs> and if this succeeds, I will be very happy. <laughs>